Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is kind of confusing. I filmed this as an Edward Scissorhands, Mrs. Edward Scissorhands tutorial, but then when I was finished, I was like, it could totally be a Mrs. Wolverine, which is so cool. And I almost think that it might even look a little more like Mrs. Wolverine. And so I'm not sure what I'm going to name this. Maybe I'll name it both. I'm not really sure. I do have Edward Scissorhand gloves, but if you only saw the tips of them, you would, you know, it would pass for like Wolverine. I do love how the look turned out. I wanted something very sharp and edgy and different. So I feel like that's what this is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Let me know what Mrs. Halloween you would like to see next. Halloween is almost here, so you better be commenting. All right, let's go ahead and get this party started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna go in with is the Mayron liquid latex. These are gonna be like the raised above scars. I'm going in with this first, just because it needs some time to dry. I am referencing a picture of Edward Scissorhands uh, just to get an idea, but I'm not going to necessarily go directly off of that because, you know, this is a different character. And I feel like if Mrs. Edward Scissorhands or my version of her were to get scars, it's because it would be in places where she is putting on her makeup. He does have scars on his nose like this so I'm actually gonna do that mainly because I'm gonna kind of use them as contour and another reason that I'm going in with this liquid latex first before foundation is because this dries darker than my skin tone and so I want to be able to apply foundation to everything at the same time Okay, I'm gonna let those dry, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and make like the indented scars. To outline the scar, I'm gonna go in with the Mayron Paradise Makeup Palette, and I'm gonna go in with this red shade right here. I'm actually gonna mix a little bit of dark brown in with that, just to give it more of like an older kind of blood look. And then I'm just going to just place this in the places where I want the sunken in scars to be. And since I do already have a scar here and a scar here, I'm just going to go right over top of those and play with those a little. I'm going to make two sunken in scars here and here for contour because my face is obviously fluffier and I'm going to try to like use that to chisel it out some. And then I do have like this little wrinkle right here, so I'm going to go here. I feel like um, if I was Mrs. Edward Scissorhands, like, I would be cutting myself doing my contour. So, for the actual sunken in scars, I'm going to go in with this Mayron Rigid Collodion. Oh, God, this stuff stinks. I'm just going to, woo, put a thin layer over each of these lines that we've made. I'm going to use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 2. So when I get to the actual latex, I'm going to bounce very, very gently because I don't want it to pull up at all. So I'm going to give her, of course, my specialty feathered brows. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do black and brown today. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner, and this is in the shade Mad Max Brown, and I'm just going to use this to start feathering my brows out. And then I'm going to take the Sigma E65 and the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Weirdo, and I'm going to paint on the black strokes. And then to add some 
definition, like some highlights, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade Daddy. And then to add just a little bit more of a lighter color, I'm going to go in with the Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star in the shade Mannequin. I'm going to use the P. Louise base to clean up my brows and then to set my eyes. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done one eye off camera and then I'm going to try to replicate what I did on this side. And I wanted like a really sharp like wing. I don't really know how this is going to turn out yet, but I'm just hoping for the best. I just wanted it to be like really smoky, like a black smoky eye, but I wanted it to be really exaggerated, kind of like how I did the joker look and i kind of like exaggerated the inner corner a little bit well this one i wanted it to be like way more of course because i feel like i just keep getting more and more extra the first thing i'm going to do is go in with these two shades right here from the jaclyn hill palette i'm just going to take this sigma e25 blending brush to pick up both of those shades because right now i just kind of want to map out the shape and i also just want to get the whole entire eye covered in the shade I am going to drag that underneath my lower lash line and blow it out a little bit and then drag it up to meet this. Next, I'm going to go in with the shadow shield and I'm just going to place it where I want it and try to line it up with the other side. Next, I'm going to mix these two shades in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm starting at my lash line and I'm blending my way up. I'm going to take the JH40. It's a really tiny, precise blending brush. And I'm still using those same two shades. And I'm going to start to carve this out up here. Now I've still mixed those two shades on this same brush and I'm very gently and very lightly going to kind of drag it down where I want my contour to be on my nose. I'm going to take a Morphe R41 brush with those same two colors on it and I'm just going to press it up under here. Next I'm going to go in with this black shade. I'm going to use an M433 brush for this and again I'm going to start this closer to the lash line and work my way up with it. I'm going to go back in with that JH40 brush and that black shade and I'm just going to start defining defining the top of it. And then with just a tiny bit of the black on it, I'm going to start dragging it down my nose for that contour. Now I do have this scar right here. It's from like, I got chicken pox and the pink eye both when I was a senior in high school and I have one little scar here that's like a chicken pox scar and it always in pictures makes my makeup look not blended in that spot because where it like divots in. So I'm trying really hard to press that black shadow into that and hide it. Next I'm going to go in with this dark brown shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to take a JH33 brush because I want to be able to lay my brush down right on top of that black and just barely a little bit above it and blend that black out. And 
And then I'm going to t go back with that Sigma E25 and I'm going to very lightly go back in with those first two shades in the Jaclyn Hill palette just to blend that out the tiniest bit more at the top. I'm just going to take a clean Sigma E40 and just blend a little bit more with no product on my brush at all. Next, I'm going to go ahead and peel these off. I'm pretty god I got them even, and if not, I'm going to clean it up with concealer. Oh my god! That is a look! Okay, I'm going to take a flat definer brush, and I'm going to go back into that black shade, and I'm going to press it up against my lash line. And I'm going to bring it all the way to make the inner corner. I'm going to go back in with these two shades right here. And I'm just going to blend that right here. I'm going to go back in with this dark shade right here. With just a little tiny bit of it. And I'm going to just put it right in here on the outer. So that it kind of blends into this a little better. And then I'm going to go back in with those first two shades that we mixed together and I'm going to go in on a JH37 and I'm just going to blend that down. I'm going to go ahead and line both my top and my bottom water lines with this Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil in black. Actually, I'm only going to do the top right now because I might want to give her like a little bit of a pop of color. But I'm not really sure yet, and I'm not sure what color I would give her. Oh my gosh. I really love how this looks so far. But you know me, I always like want to go the extra mile. And I know I should stop here because this looks so good, at least in my opinion. I think it looks good. And I don't want to ruin what I have already done. But I just can't help myself. I'm really thinking about going in. You guys know that I love to do like the negative space in my eyes. I do those all the time. And I'm really thinking about doing that to just spice this look up a little bit. But I'm so scared. I'm really terrified I'm going to like ruin this look by doing this. But I'm just going to go for it. And to do that, I'm going to use the P. Louise base and just an Eco Tools uh, liner brush, angled liner brush. I don't know if I should do this. Screw it. I'm just going to try. And if I can't, then maybe I can blend it back out. I just feel like if I do the negative space, then it's going to like look almost like a scar across there too so I just feel like it'll kind of like bring it all together oh, oh my god I was so nervous my hands were shaking so bad and I'm sorry I could not even talk through that but now that I have it kind of carved out how I want it I'm gonna go back in over top of it again with that concealer just to make it a little more sharper and cleaner I'm gonna throw on some mascara for lashes I'm gonna go in with the house of lashes iconic lights Okay, so since I obviously don't know when to stop, I'm going to add a little bit of color to my bottom waterline, and I'm going to go in with Red Rum. It's Jeffree Star Cosmetics, of course. I use these liquid lipsticks as eyeliners for, like, every single one of my tutorials. For contour, I kind of want to go in with the same kind of theme that I've already been going in with and so I'm gonna go back in with those first two shades from the Jaclyn Hill palette that I used on my eyes and I'm just using a JH05 and I'm just gonna use this to contour with
So I'm just going to take the JH07 brush and I'm going to just tap it a few times and then tap that like one time. And I'm going to get closer to the scar for this. I'm going to go into the Naked 3 palette and I'm going to take this shade Limit and I'm going to take a little E17 brush and I'm going to dust that over all of the scars. I'm going to use the Sigma blush and this is the Aurora Aura face powder and I'm using the JH04 just to dust a lot coating over top of that. For highlight, I am so excited to use this. I bought a bunch of stuff from Kylie's Halloween collection and this was one of the main things that I wanted. So it has like this beautiful, it's like such a different highlight color. So I'm really, oh, almost dropped it. So I'm really excited to use it. And I'm just gonna take the JH06. Oh, yes, and I'm gonna blend that over just like we would even if we didn't have the scars. Oh my god, that is so pigmented though. I put on so much. This highlighter is like nothing I have ever seen and it is just the perfect like Halloween highlighter. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of that highlighter on my brow bone. For lips, I want a pretty nude lip, so I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mannequin. Now, as you can see, it's going to be hard to line over that scar, and we want that to pop anyway, so we're just going to let it. Now, there's just something about these scars that I'm not really a fan of. So, I think I'm going to go in with some P. Louise base. And I'm just going to place it, like, right over the center. And then I'm just going to, like, kind of take my finger and rub it around in there. I feel like when I initially went in in the beginning with that paint color I think I just went like a little too dark and then I'm gonna go back over top of that with that limit shade okay and then I think I'm actually gonna wipe these lips off I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my lips and then I'm gonna take a beauty blender and just dab it around on there now, I do want there to be an appearance of lips, so I'm going to go back in with that highlighter, and I'm going to use the JH42, and what I'm going to do is just highlight the tops of my lips, and highlight right here, because I can see the lights hitting it right there, and right here. I am only going to, going to place it on the center of my lips and I'm going to be using Spider Bite by Kylie, Cos Kylie Cosmetics and it's just her Halloween lipstick. I'm going to place it on the insides. My lips are chapped but I just, I didn't really care because I felt like it kind of like almost went with the look. And so I'm just going to take my lip brush. This is the MB19. And I'm just gonna kind of missily place this. Okay, well this lipstick is really pigmented and a tiny bit goes a really long way. So, so what I'm gonna do is take like the tiniest bit of the P. Louise base on my finger and I'm just gonna start dabbing it around the edges of it. Just because I really didn't want it to spread that far, but it's like so pigmented that it just does. And I feel like the chap lips kind of like work in my favor because it almost looks like there's a scar right there too. Okay, I'm going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Okay. 
Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. And even though it started out as an Edward Scissorhands uh, look, it totally could pass for a Mrs. Wolverine. And I kind of really like the idea of it being Mrs. Wolverine. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask my husband his thoughts, maybe a couple of friends that know, you know, both characters and see which one they think Maybe I'll just name it both. Not really sure. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you love this look and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!